In this video, we're going to look at how to add date field in Django. Currently, we don't have the field to input the date that we bought this specific computer. And we're going to change our models from this to that. You can see that I've added a purchase date to this form. And it will also, in the background, automatically pick the date that you input this computer into the database. And that will be selected as a timestamp. And for the purchase date that you have in the form here, we will actually input the date that we bought. And the date that you bought this computer might be different from the date you inputted into the database. So we'll look at how to automatically grab a time and put it into the database and how we can supply the date in Django. So the timestamp will be the date that we click on save button and the purchase date will be the date that we will select or we will add in ourselves. If you look at the Django page, you will see something like this. We will have purchase date and we have timestamp. The timestamp will be added automatically as we click on the save button. By the purchase date, we will have to select the date or input it ourselves. All right? If I head to um, Sublime, you'll have to open models and in model, we want to input date time. Since we are going to work with date, I'm going to type from date time, import date time, and we're going to import date as well. Okay, so just below location, we will add purchase date, underscore date, and it will be a model date field. And this will take the following parameters. Auto now add equals, all right, I will type the rest of the code and then I explain it. All right, so what does this mean? The difference between auto now add and auto now is if I specify auto now add as true, Django will automatically choose the current date and add it to this item. Like, and the auto now means if I am updating it, auto now add is when you're adding it for the first time and auto now is if you are updating it. So now, since I said auto now add false, that means when I'm adding this item in the database, Django will not fill the, this date for me automatically. And also now false also means if I'm updating it, it will not fill the date for me. And now, look at the next field. Copy this and paste it. Now this one I'll make it a timestamp. For timestamp, I want Django to automatically add the current date for me. So I'm gonna specify true here. And if I'm updating it, I don't want Django to automatically update this timestamp because i want this field to specify when this item was originally added to the database i will type auto now add true auto now false that means if i'm adding it for the first time pick the current date and time and and if i'm updating it don't update the time for me okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna specify true here and false here so now if I specify false on both, that means when inputting this item, I have to choose the date as I am adding this item in the database. So I'm going to save that. And now, since I'm going to specify the date while inputting this, um, this item in the database. Now in forms.py, since I'm going to add the, the purchase date while I'm inputting the item, I'm going to specify that I will need that field to add the item so i'll have to update it in forms in our custom form okay and next is to to update the, the the model that is in the database so currently what django is going to do is if i if i want to um run my app if i if i refresh on this app it will it will come fine but the problem will be if i want to save this item in the database this table in the database does not have this field ready yet so i have to tell django to update my database for me like if i
can open if I open SQLite and I open the database in VENV source and I expand Django app computers you can see we have computer name IP address Mac users location but this field these two fields are not yet added in the table and if I want to stop um, input the item right here it will draw us an error let's see how that works come to IP So now if I added it and again I will explain a little bit further like how do I know that the date is supposed to come first or the month is supposed to come first then you have uh, the date and then the year I will come to that soon now if I click save it says table Django app computers has no column named purchase date so that's exactly the error that I was talking to you about now if I go to the models we can see we've added that date and the timestamp is also added right here but we didn't tell Django to update the table and we do that by going to the command line and type dot manage dot py make migrations so this would look at our current code that we have in the models of py and compare it with the table if it sees any changes it would prepare Django codes to update the table and another thing that we need to fix before we can proceed before we can even uh, modify uh, the database is or the table here it says you are trying to add a non nullable field purchase date to computers or that's the table without a default value so that means we've added some data previously and we modified the table to have purchase date and timestamp when our previous data don't have that and purchase date currently is set to as non nullable field and Django is asking if we want to uh, send in a default value uh, or we want to uh, uh, specify a value in the models and now what I want to do is I'll choose number one and I'll tell Django to use my current date and supply it for the previous data that we have in the database or in the table and to do that is giving us a suggestion that we have to type time zone does now not now enter and it's asking us for the second time and in this case it's about the timestamp since it's also a non nullable field I'm gonna supply the same thing I'm gonna press number one and I type time zone dot now enter so you can see Django will now go ahead and modify uh, and create a code that will be sent to the database and the database will now create an extra field in the table to accommodate for purchase date and timestamp. And now I have to follow it up with a command called Python Manager PY migrate and that will fix it in the table. Like if I close this or if I open the database again you can see now if I go to Django app computers you can see these two fields have been added purchase date and timestamp now if I had type comma null equals true it would have not been required for us to input a default value for this only for timestamp all right but in this case since we don't input or since we don't specify that this field is nullable Django will ask us to input a default value so I'm gonna cancel that save it and, and in that case purchase date and timestamp will all be required when inputting uh, uh, when when adding items in the database okay I will now refresh on this page and click continue you can see okay we have to uh, run the server and then go to admin and see whether uh, those information have been added okay now in admin as well we cannot see that field only remember in customizing admin we have to go to admin.py and in the list display we want to show those fields 
in our admin page and those fields are purchase underscore date purchase date and also timestamp save it and refresh admin you can see now we have purchase date and timestamp so this was what Django was asking us it says this field is not nullable for all these items do you want to supply the default value and we select number one that was yes and then we specified time zone dot now and Django automatically fill all the previous data with the current date so now if we want to add another item like if I go back to site if I want to add another item specify the computer name the IP the MAC address the username location if I click save Django will give us this error not nullable constraint Django purchase date so if I don't want to have this error I'll have to validate uh, a form like I should not allow any user to submit data without specifying it right on the form so but just before I do that which we will do um, uh, in a couple of videos I will go back to model and allow Django to uh, submit data without purchase date by typing null equals true save it and remember we have to do make migrations and migrate then run the server again and in this case if I go back and click save you can see the data will be saved fine without any error and I can go to admin and see that computer without uh, the purchase date but automatically the timestamp will be specified in the back in the background All right but this date is we want to supply this date and if we don't supply we don't want Django to throw us an error so that's one way of uh, fixing that error all right so we look at another error like if I go back to the site and I and input data I'll just do that for quick access I type the date as this today is in the 13th April 2019 and click save look at the error it says enter a valid date all right so but it doesn't tell me what's the valid date format look like so now and what it is expecting is the first one will be the month then the day and then the year if we click save we can see saved correctly we want to tell our users that this field is in this format so to do that one way of doing that is to go to the forms and create wages or um, one of the most simplest way is to come here and then type how you want to display this field in the browser or in the form so and i will do that by it has to be in codes within the codes you type what you want to see in in the browser uh, the month supposed to come first the day then the year will come last save it and then refresh that you can see now we are telling our users the first is the month the day and the year if i press enter so you can see the arrow is gone and we will be able to easily um let our users know what format the application is expecting and in the next video we will make this thing even much more user friendly by allowing users to select the date from a calendar like immediately they click on this box a calendar will pop up and they can select that date like we see in uh in the admin something similar to this if i come to computer and i click add computers you can see if i click that i have a date pop out so i can just easily select the date i want and that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next video where we will allow our users to just click that and then select the date so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please click on the like button and please send in your comments if you have any errors we will be glad to help you and stay tuned for more videos